In this video, we're going to look at the Temo 450 electric outboard. It is a pole type outboard with a 450 watt motor and a lithium ion battery inside a fully IP67 waterproof enclosure. It has an extendable handle and it has a pin type mounting system where you put a pin type uh, Rolex mount on the back of the vessel, on the transom of the vessel, or there's an optional extra which is a removable mount. So this is a close-up of the uh, of the handle on the uh, Tamu 450. On top we have a battery indicator which when the magnetic kill switch is engaged will light up and will show you uh, a series of lit bars showing the battery status. When it starts getting low on battery capacity, it will flash to warn you that you've got 15 minutes of runtime left. On top here, this is the reverse button. So if you want to put the motor into reverse, you hold down this button whilst using the trigger. And this is the trigger for the throttle. It has a runtime of approximately 80 minutes and a half throttle. It has forward and reverse speeds and is covered by a two year warranty. In this video, we're gonna look at what's in the box. We're gonna take it out on, a on the water with two, uh, two men in a small 2.35 dinghy. And we're gonna test it against the current on the river handle and see how it performs. I'm gonna show you what's inside the box. That's the electric pole outboard. And then you also get an accessory box. With, that's the mains charger with European and UK plugs. There's your mounting rollock for fixing to the transom of your of your dinghy is the magnetic kill switch with flotation lanyard fixing hardware for the rollock and a comprehensive multi-language user manual and your warranty information. So to install the Temo on the uh, tender, you've got the choice of a fixed bracket, which comes in the box, and this screws to the transom of the, of the dinghy. So it's, it's a pin rollet type of mounting, or as an optional extra, you can buy a universal bracket, which you can take on and off the transom of, of the boat. So we're going to, for this demonstration, we're gonna use this universal bracket. It simply just screws on the transom and then we mount the Temo on the pin rollock And there's a countersunk section on the mounting and that goes face down onto the pin rollock. And then we can swing the outboard round just to rest on the seat or the tube and we're ready to go. Okay, so we're ready to go. The first thing to do is to put the kill cord in and it's a magnetic kill cord and it can go in either side to 
depending which side you sat. So the cue cord's in. On top, there's a battery indicator and we have the reverse button and the throttle. So I simply swing it round, press and hold the reverse button and reverse off. So we're under the Hamble Bridge and this is where we did the last outboard test. Uh, so we're in the same sort of conditions, the tide's coming in, we're going with the tide at the moment, but I'm going to turn around and then go against the tide and we'll see what sort of speed we get on the GPS. So to turn, you simply move the outboard and if you dig it quite deep, you can turn very quickly. Now we're going to head against the current. The Temo kind of sits nicely in the water and it kind of, if you get the shaft length right, it feels very comfortable. There's no, uh, there's no pressure I have to push down or lift up on the outboard. It kind of sits there. So we're going against the mid tide current at the moment. There's two of us in the boat. It's a 2.35 lightweight boat and we're doing two knots against the current and it's nice and quiet, clean power and it's, it's comfortable. So the important thing with this uh, Temo is getting the shaft length um, right for you. So if you want to sit right up the front of the, uh, the vessel, you can just unclamp it and this red line here shows the maximum. So you could sit right up the front if you're on your own or if you're stuck for space, you can shorten the handle. You can, the, ham, the handle is um, accessible either side, so it doesn't matter if you're set port or starboard side, you can, it's designed to be left-handed or right-handed. But getting that length is key because that now feels nice and light. It almost feels balanced and we're ready to go. And if you just take your hand off it, don't put any pressure down or up, it, it finds its own natural place in the water. I'd say the prop's probably about four or five inches underneath the water. So as the handle, you can twist the handle, you might find it more comfortable by holding it, putting it on its side and use your finger, or you can put it upright and use your thumb. Also, I'd just like to say a little bit about the battery indicator. So it shows you the battery status and when it's running low and you've got 15 minutes left, it will flash. So you know you've got 15 minutes of battery power left. Um, the runtime on this um, at half throttle is 80 minutes. So plenty of time to get you out to your boat and back again. One of the accessories you can buy for the Temo is a float. So if you drop the outboard over the side, it will float. So let's see if it actually works. And there we go. So the beauty of this type of outboard is when you come into the shallows, you don't have to lean over the back of the boat to lift up the, uh, tilt the outboard engine. So we're going to head into the shallow over there and we're going to uh, just see how it performs going in.
So it's about a foot. I can see the, the seabed there just coming in and I'm not having to mess around with it, the height of it, and we're coming in and we're back to beach. And that's it.